Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today I'm going to be taking a quick, quick look at Transmute Protocol. Uh, it's a pretty simple system here. It uh, basically what it says here kind of defines exactly what it likes is like. I don't have a flowchart for you today, but I'll kind of talk a little bit about what it says. But let's just read this. Okay, Transmute is an O token redemption platform where users can exit their O token positions without the need for upfront capital. Okay, so in order to understand this, uh, let's quickly take a look at Velocimeter. And Velocimeter, if you look at the APRs of Velocimeter, Velocimeter spits out, oh, that's voting, sorry. If you look at the APRs, and it spits out OBVM, not BVM, okay, on, on base. And if you go to Phantom, it spits out OFVM. And then if you go to Retro, it's the same thing. Retro is also, you, if you look at the second one, it's like uh, R Retro tokens. So they're spitting out some options tokens. Now, these options tokens are the option to purchase the retro token or in the uh, velocimeter's choice the the bvm token at a discount to the market price okay but there are also some other options i do have videos that kind of explain more in depth how do these options work so you can kind of check my channel and and kind of see what those videos are However, there are several options in the case of a velocimeter where you can you can exercise to to a BBM or to so sorry the LLP the WETH LP BBM or uh, you can lock it as VE BBM or in this case you can exercise it to OBBM. So as you can see, I have a pretty big bag of uh, these tokens here. I would need one ETH. I would so have to pay up front one ETH, and then they were going to give me. 28,000 of these BBM tokens. And then of course I could sell those 28,000 BBM tokens on the market if that's what I wanted to do. So what does Transmute do instead? So Transmute, you can use the UX of uh, Velocimeter to use Transmute. You can come to the Transmute protocol front end and go to base. And then you could also exercise this way, right? And you can shoot, but you can choose the output token. So this is pretty good. So you know, if you wanted to choose, like say, uh, Mu BVM WCB ETH, ETH pool, or you want to go into this uh, Mu BVM, so these beefy vaults, or you can go to these liquid tokens. So basically what it's going to do, it's going to take the flash loan, right? It's going to use that flash loan to pay the upfront cost to exercise the uh, options token. And then it's going to take the, the, the exercise tokens. It's going to sell what it needs to repay the flash loan. And then it's going to take the, the, the remaining amount and convert those into this output token that you've desired. Okay, so maybe it's going to give you just the BVM, or it's going to sell the BVM for ETH, and or it's going to take, it's going to sell the BVM for ETH and put the ETH inside this Moo token, inside this Moo vault, whatever you want it to do. So basically, it makes it very easy for protocols to, or for users to exercise their options token without having to have that capital ready to to pay for those options redemption fees okay now um it's it's pretty straightforward uh there is one more thing i do want to mention though is that uh transmute protocol does take a three percent fee on the output token so basically if you think about it it's going to sell the the bvm for uh it's going to repay the flash loan and then it's going to have some output token at the end and it's going to take that 3% of that output token as a fee for transmute protocol. But 33% uh, of those fees will go to the, the treasury, so the retro team treasury, and then the rest of it will go to pay the, uh, it says here, bribes on the best performing pools. Now there is one more thing to mention, and that is on retro, there is uh, the possibility that it can go through the retro pool. Because as you can see, there is an O retro retro pool, and it has a TVL of uh, 15,000. So in some cases, it might not exercise, it might not take a flash loan to exercise, because if this peg is, if this is above peg, then it might be better to sometimes sell the O retro token for retro tokens and then use that to exercise. So there's a little bit of optionality here. However, on Velocimeter, there is no O, 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 o token liquidity pool 
for our transmute. So transmute is always going to do a flash loan when it does on a velocimeter. So I hope this has been interesting and useful. Um, it's just a quick little video kind of explaining that this uh, transmute is a, a possibility for O token holders. And like I said, you can come to here to exercise. You can come to the velocimeter. You can click transmute here. And I do believe if you go here, there is transmute as well on uh, the retro front end. So they're all the same contracts in the back, but uh, you can use whatever front end is convenient for you. Okay, so I hope that's been useful and interesting. And thank you so much for watching and goodbye.